try to beat the rain. Uh, it rained hard last night and uh, not looking too good right now, but I'm going to get out there and see if I can at least find some targets before the rain comes. This is a public area and a lot of pull tabs, a lot of trash like normal, but uh, got the e-track today. We'll see if we can find something halfway decent. I don't know if you can see the screen. It's pretty dark. Clouds are out, but uh, I'm running a modified trashy park pattern. I opened this up more, opened it up to accept a little lower conductivity. Got this all blacked out to get rid of the hundreds of pull tabs. Left this open for nickels. There's something in the high conductor zone. Let's see what this is, huh? That was bad. I like the detector was interfering with a pin pointer, but uh, there's a wheat penny. Got a target hitting in my nickel zone. This didn't appear to be real deep. be able to cut a small plug. There you go. It's a regular nickel, so you've been down there a long time. I'm going to turn on red. another shallow nickel type signal. This ought to be real shallow. Seems bigger than nickel kind of. It was just on edge a little bit, or I knocked it on edge. It was a nickel. But there you go. There's a number I don't see or dig very often 28. <laughs> A little bit, maybe four inches. All right, so this is what a 28 was. I call them square tabs. There's a 29. I'm going to get a square tab after the last one was 28. Yeah, probably same depth, four inches. What do you 
no, another square tab, 29. Here's a high conductor. More in the screw cap zone though. It's real shallow. Like I said, kind of a more in the screw cap area than the coins. Cap. Here's another high conductor, once again, more like a screw cap zone. 39. 40. This one either is part piece of a bunch of trash or has trash near it. When I pinpointed it, pinpointed it off to the side. That's down there, probably a screw cap. I don't know what that is, it's junk though. Got a good sound and high conductor here. Just trying to hit in the copper penny dime range. You just never know. Never know out here. Was a clad dime. What it has to. Let's see if I can get a date on that. It had to have been sitting down there for a long time. Just not long enough to be silver. Copper, copper penny. Hope I got two coin. I mean, two targets or what? I got a. Been a real good uh, dime-like signal. But just right over next to it. Get a lower can lower. So. This is where the higher, higher tone was coming from. Right here. There's a lower tone over here. Oh, I just seen a coin. Yeah. Quarter. Here's one, kind of weird, looks like it's got a low conductor right by it. This is multiple targets or just a junk target. It almost acts like a high conductor and a low conductor mix. Here's one of them. Let's see. And get it. Oh, that looks like a rest. Oh.
Okay, there's a quarter. You said there's got to be another target nearby. It's cool, that's where it was sitting right there. Oh, well, I see some rust. I'm going to go over the hole again. See, there was a, I dug the quarter right there. Now look at this. There's some kind of low conductor near. surface probably. There it is. Can you see it? Clad dime. Must have been a dime spill. I just dug that one dime and go back over the hole. Got another one down there I think. Another clad dime, they're probably lost about the same time, I would think. Got one trying to hit in the quarter area. Good. Hmm. That was right in here somewhere. Sounded shallow. Real rocky. Real rocky in here. But anyway. Anything good is going to get scratched up, probably. Lucky it wasn't anything good.